In a dimly lit room, the pungent scent of burning incense filled the air as a stoner named Jake sat cross, legged on the floor, enjoying a smoke session. Little did he know that the swirling smoke carried with it an ancient and powerful entity, an elusive and mischievous gin. As the room grew hazy with the sweet smoke, the gin materialized before Jake, its form ethereal and imposing. With a voice that echoed like distant thunder, the djinn spoke, revealing its presence and offering Jake a chilling proposition. Stoner, I am a djinn, a supernatural being that grants three wishes to those who summon me. Choose wisely, for your desires will shape your fate, the djinn warned, its eyes gleaming with otherworldly power. Jake's blood ran cold, a mixture of fear and excitement coursing through his veins. He had heard tales of the djinn's cunning and the treacherous nature of its granted wishes, but the temptation was too great to resist. He steeled himself, preparing to speak his desires aloud. With a trembling voice, Jake made his first wish. Jin. I wish for unimaginable wealth beyond my wildest dreams. The djinn's eyes shimmered with malevolent glee as it granted Jake's request. Suddenly, the room filled with stacks of money, jewels, and opulent treasures. Jake's heart raced as he marveled at the newfound wealth before him. However, as days turned into weeks, Jake realized the true cost of his wish. The wealth brought him no joy but instead attracted greed and deceit. Friends turned against him, and his life became consumed by paranoia and mistrust. The djinn's twisted interpretation of wealth had transformed Jake's existence into a gilded prison. Determined to rectify his mistake, Jake summoned the djinn once more, his voice filled with newfound caution. Djinn... I wish for wisdom and clarity to navigate the complexities of life. The djinn's laughter echoed through the room as it granted Jake's second wish. Suddenly, a surge of knowledge flooded Jake's mind, and he found himself with an insatiable thirst for understanding. Yet, the wisdom he gained was not a gift, but a curse. The burden of knowledge overwhelmed him robbing him of his innocence and leaving him isolated in a world of complexities he could never fully comprehend. With one final wish remaining, Jake approached the djinn, a mix of trepidation and determination in his eyes. Djinn, I wish for the release from this twisted existence to return to a life of simplicity and contentment. The djinn's expression twisted into a sinister grin as it granted Jake's final wish. The room dissolved around him, and Jake found himself back in his humble abode, the familiar scent of cannabis filling the air. The djinn had stripped him of his ill-gotten wealth and the burdensome knowledge, returning him to the life he once knew. As Jake looked around, a sense of relief washed over him. He realized the true value of simplicity and contentment, appreciating the ordinary pleasures that had been overshadowed by his greed and thirst for knowledge. From that moment forward, he vowed to live a life free from the allure of material wealth and the pursuit of unattainable wisdom. The tale of Jake and the djinn spread, a cautionary reminder that wishes, however enticing, come with unforeseen consequences. It served as a chilling reminder that true happiness lies not in extravagant desires, but in finding contentment in the simplicity of life. And as for the djinn, it returned to the shadows, awaiting the next unsuspecting soul who would summon its fickle powers.